Good morning and welcome back to the sunny beach paradise that is Hagada here in Egypt. We've actually had the most refreshing last few days. It might actually be a week. You know that gap in between Christmas and New Year where you completely forget what day it is? Well, we have completely forgotten what day it was. In the last video, we showed you the Arabella Resort, the 50 pounds a night, all inclusive, which I still can't get my head around. So our plan for Christmas and New Year was to actually spend the entirety of the period um, in the beaches of Haggadah. So we decided to check out three of the Azure all-inclusive resorts because we thought we might just get bored at one and we wanted to change scenery. Luckily, all three are next door to each other, so we stayed at Bel Air Azure. I've definitely had worse spots for my morning coffee. Next door, which is actually uh, an adults only one. We just about got Molly access to the hotel. This is where I leave you, Molly. Adults only. <laughs> I actually spent my birthday there, the first time spending a birthday abroad. And what better way to spend it than with a wood-fired pizza, an all-inclusive bar, and all you can drink beer. I think this could become a really tradition. Which was lovely. Um, three days again, drinking beer, eating loads of food, laying by the pool, swimming in the sea, and repeating that each and every day but now we have actually checked in to Arabia our third and final we have three nights here to again enjoy all the all-inclusive all the beer and actually spend New Year's Eve here which will be really nice and then we check out New Year's Day and head to a new place in Egypt but like I said in the last video we've been looking out at the islands in the distance for just over a week now so today we have finally decided to go on a trip and check out the Gifton Islands in the distance and we are going with Get Your Guide. The entertainment is popping off this morning at the pool um, but for us it's been super nice to spend Christmas and then Matt's birthday abroad. I've are you going to get involved? No. I think it's I've, belly dancing. I've eaten and drank way too much. I don't even think I could move my belly how they do. Um, but staying at the three as your results has been Unique, each one of them is different, like Arabella was different, uh, Bel Air was slightly more um, traditional, traditional resorty, and with Arabia, the one we are in right now, it's definitely more like a beach resort, as you can see with the difference in the rooms. We have obviously our sofa, a huge bed with a lovely swan, a massive balcony where you can see and hear all the entertainment going on. Um, it's been like a proper nine day holiday for us. It's been really nice. The reason we actually booked Azor Resorts is because they were all next to each other, which meant that we were moving resorts. We didn't have to move far and you got a different experience in each. And they all range from around 50 uh, pounds a night, which I think is great value. You know, they're not ultra all inclusive. Um, they're somewhere in the middle, which is absolutely perfect for us on our little Christmas holiday um but as matt said we are going on a boat trip i do actually really need to quickly sort myself out because we're getting picked up soon but we booked this with get your guide get your guide is basically an online platform where you can book all of your travel experiences they have over 68,000 unforgettable experiences in over 150 countries which means that I'm pretty sure wherever you are you'll be able to find an experience that suits you. The Get Your Guide experiences are provided by knowledgeable and local experts. You get 24-7 support, you can get free cancellation up to 24 hours before and skip the line value. We actually used Get Your Guide to book the Nile cruise in Cairo and now we have used them to book the Haggadah Gifton Island tour. But um, I really need to get going, they're picking us up soon. Thank you to Get Your Guide. Let's go on an island trip. We've been picked up and it was about a 30 minute drive whilst the driver was playing all sorts of crazy music. And we've it's like been a song from every country. It was a song from every country. We've been dropped off at a beach um, and you can see the group behind us. And we're getting in one of these boats. This, this, is, this is the tough bit. Work this is out. when you panic. It's whether you get a dinghy <laughs> or a multi-million pound yacht. Please be a yacht. Good news, it's not the dinghy. And it's not a multi-million pound yacht, but it's better Some, than a something dinghy. Something in between. <laughs> Hello, Salam. We're on. I wasn't expecting 
a boat this big and we've grabbed the only seat in the sun. You actually have to pay five euros each extra on top of the tour to enter the national park on the island that we're heading to, but hopefully we get going because it's freezing. Can you believe they islands. actually called it just big and small? You would have thought they'd put a little bit more effort in and called them something else. Um, but we have a swim stop here, then we actually have our lunch before heading to the island, which I am most excited for. I did not know that Egypt had water this blue. And the islands are like islands that we have never seen before. You think of the palm trees, the greenery, but these are like completely deserted islands. They are the Sahara Desert of islands, but I need to get out of this hoodie. It is extremely cold and getting in this water is going to be a task. The bar starts into liven up. We've got a right Egyptian party on the go, but the Red Sea is supposedly the warmest sea in the world. Well, it felt like it the other day. Wish me luck. Oh, mask full of water. Oh, but it's actually quite warm. Look at its colour. Outrageous. They were right. When they say this is the warmest sea in the world, it is warmer in here than it is on the boat. Behind me, the brilliantly named small Gifton Island. But it is getting a little bit busy now. There's like three boats here. Um, you can snorkel, but um, it's like a big group that goes off, so it's better to just grab the mask, which I've now lost, and uh, go it yourself. How did you get away with not going in? I took the executive decision to sit in the I am now freezing. Yeah, I made the right decision, and I actually look at the trial as well, because for my lunch I had to mark this down a price and a chicken nugget before we get to the island. This is definitely one of the more popular tours with Get Your Guide. It's absolutely packed on the boat today. After lunch, we jumped onto a small tender and now we have made it to Orange Bay on the largest of the two Gifton Islands. And the water color here is amazing. I think we have a couple of hours. We get to go along the pier. I can see a bar. I can see crystal clear water. This will do me for the afternoon, perfect. This definitely looks like an Instagram island. You've got the swings in the sea. Um, and I love this walkway huge pier for us to walk along and uh, find where we are going to be set up <laughs> for the afternoon. Can I get two beers please? Two beers? Beer, uh, two. Stella. Two Stella, Stella, Stella. Thank you. Shukran. Shukran. Thank you my friend. Cheers. Cheers. This has got to be one of the coolest places. I think we have had the beer. We were just wandering and we actually came to um, I don't know what this is even called, but it's one of the first bars on the corner as you get off the pier and your um, pub chairs, your pub benches are sat in the sea. I mean, that's pretty cool. Now, and these were also quite They've expensive. got you. They know because you're on the yeah. island, every beer, we've gone and looked at every bar, yeah. they're all seven euros a beer, which is a That's joke. That's a lot. That it's is a, joke. a lot. Um, and there's about 10 bars on here. So I think this is probably one of the best, considering I'm sat in the sea on a pub bench. I hate to be that person that is sitting somewhere that is like unbelievably beautiful, but it's going to moan. It's actually a warm beer. It's a warm, warm beer for for seven euros but like I said they've got you so water is like three four euros to like rent beds if you're not on a tour it's probably like 25 euros a day it's very expensive because there's only I think three beach clubs on the whole island there's this one the Orange Bay and then there are two right around the other side of the island but we are in paradise we have about an hour and a half to chill out here drink our beer go for a swim and explore it's like all wooden it's very um what's the word Edgy, I don't know. <laughs> designed it very, it's very hip for That Egypt. is what it is. One of the warmest, most expensive beers I have ever had. I would probably recommend bringing your own drink if you're coming here for the day, because I think some tours, maybe you can just spend the entire day here. But if you spent the entire day here, you wouldn't have much money for the rest of your holiday. Unfortunately as well, you're not actually allowed to leave 
the complex for safety reasons so you can't leave the beach club and explore the island we've actually just walked up above they've got some great viewpoints looking out at Hagada in the distance the music's blaring there's bean bags everywhere to chill out I mean apart from the warm beer I like it from up here you can actually see how many bars and restaurants there are I'm not going to be going into all of them especially not for seven dollars or seven euros seven euros I think beer. euros is more than dollars yeah I think euros is more it than should dollars, be no it, it is was, it was crazy prices but I think they're extending it as well this whole bit is brand new um it's a very unique place to have We actually booked this tour direct with Get Your Guide, as Matt mentioned earlier. I went onto the app and it was one of the number one tours to do here in Hagada. It was around 25 euros each, which I think is a really good price. It includes your um, your lunch, your get your snorkel, your mask, all the equipment you need for your swimming and snorkeling stops. And obviously you get the boat trip. The only thing it doesn't include, as Matt said earlier, also was the entry to the orange Bay. This tour specifically had so many reviews and it's actually why I picked it because it had like a really high rating on Get Your Guide um, and normally that means that everyone was very happy with it. They're very windy, these deserty islands, but our tour have definitely made the right decision. A lot of people came here at midday, but our tour boat decided to come in the afternoon. And as you can see, everyone has left, even though we're leaving in a little bit. We have the last 10-15 minutes before the sun sets. Then on the bean bags, not getting a seven euro beer, I'm watching the start of the sunset. We are back, we are changed, and I don't know what it is about boat trips, but they really do just make you absolutely it exhausted. We've been eating buffets for the last seven days I think and they are very very good but I am in need of a change and we actually have our uh, reservation here at the Thai restaurant at the Arabia Hotel so I'm looking forward to that but huge thanks to Get Your Guide for sponsoring today's video. It was nice to do something a little bit different and explore the Gifton Islands here in Hagada but now I'm starving. Let's eat. Look at this. It is like being back in Pattaya without certain strange tourists, I hope. <laughs> They've actually done it so well in here. I would probably think I was on the beaches of Pattaya <laughs> and not Hagadi. You've got the Buddhas all over the wall and you've got the Thai music going on in the background that I can't understand a word of. Cheers. Cheers. It's like being back in the land of smiles. We literally eat this every day in Thailand. So we have vegetable spring rolls with a sweet chili sauce and then we have chicken satay you can't go wrong with the chicken satay <laughs> thank you uh, yeah. chicken cake yes thank you over here thank you very thank much you. we've got feast going on we have so much food we've got some vegetable rice matt has a chicken green curry and i have a beef masaman curry never had it with beef before i haven't and I ate this almost every day when we were in Thailand. It's very, very similar. It tastes different with the beef though. I thought I was finished and then I looked at the dessert menu and they have got fried ice cream. Is fried ice cream Thai? Asian? I don't know but look at it, it's huge! I I'm going it is, it is Asian and we also got fried banana. Oh, it is, oh it's just my it's God. deep. How do you even do that? It's like batter around ice cream. Hard to tell waiting to happen. It's just so unhealthy, but so good. <laughs> good morning. I slept very well last night with a belly full of some not too shabby Egyptian Thai food. But it's actually our last day here in Hagada. And what better way to spend it than how we've spent the other eight days laying by the beach, laying by the pool, drinking beer, doing nothing. This is actually one of the two bays here at the Arabia Resort and you can see in the background we've got this huge peninsula that jets out into the ocean which I think will probably take the strenuous walk to have lunch this afternoon. Oh and it's actually New Year's Eve. By the time you see this it'll be March but it's New Year's Eve and as they say New Year, New Me. Not for us, we're not changing. We're still drinking beer.
we actually have a New Year's Eve party tonight, which if it's anything like the Christmas Eve party that we had, oh, we'll be starting um, the New Year extremely rough. We'll be starting it a little bit rough. This is actually the biggest of the Azure resorts, hence why you have the huge lagoon, the marina and the big peninsula surrounding you. Um, but it's just a little bit chilly this morning. The winds haven't stopped, hence why I have my towel wrapped around me. I'm sure Matt will get in to Matt see it at some Matt point today. Matt will do this, Matt will do that, <laughs> Matt will go to the bar and get you a beer. True. <laughs> Getting out of that water is a task. It is Baltic in this wind. It is actually warmer in the sea than it is out here, but we're now walking along the promenade, which basically extends out all the way into the middle of the ocean. And on the left, you have Bel Air behind me, and on the right, on the other side, we can see Arabella. We do actually have to head back over and sneak into Bel Air's bar after lunch because we need to introduce you to our legend. He is literally the legend of Azure best barman we've ever met and, would, um, and I would feel rude to come here and not show you him and this is what you want 100 meters down from our fort, the marina bar the marina restaurant this could be one of the the best bars I reckon it's right out on the sea it's noisy someone's drunk too much and you want to <laughs> hello my friend can I have one pizza with just lots of cheese only one just one thank you shukran Shukran, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best, the best pizza chef in all of Egypt. Shukran, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Top tip to go with your pizza I always get a softie. <laughs> this is the main reason you walk down the promenade to get the fresh wood fired pizzas. They've actually done this at Bel Air as well for lunch, and I've got a softie, some ice cream. <laughs> And some pizza. We're too old for that. <laughs> there is a beach party going on at the hotel today, but we have snuck back into Bel Air because this is the legend that I was talking about, Hamada, who basically made our stay at the Azure Resorts the best, and he makes sure I get extra beer. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> this is our favourite bar that we keep sneaking back into, but don't tell anyone. We have Khaled and Hamada who keep us here. Um, I like his pink top actually. And they keep us watered. They keep us The best barman. Not with water though. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to miss these two legends. I'm going to miss this bar. What is the name of this bar? This one. Bel Air bar. I'm actually staying at. <laughs> it's a sneaky one. I'm staying one. at Arabia, but if you can, sneak in and say hello to these two guys. I'm getting fat for the new year. Cheers. Cheers. An Egyptian New Year! <laughs> 